Angles can be described as either bearings or azimuths. There are 360 degrees in a circle, 60 minutes in a degree, and 60 seconds in a minute. Azimuths will always be less than 360 degrees, and the angle for a bearing will be less than or equal to 90 degrees. The reference line is always north for the azimuth, measured clockwise, but can be north or south for a bearing. And that should be selected based on which meridian is closer, and it's measured either clockwise or counterclockwise to give you the direction of turn either west or east. We can look at a line that's in the southwest position. And for this particular line, the azimuth is 225 degrees. That's measured clockwise from north. We always keep that reference angle at north. And it has a bearing of south 45 degrees west. So we start at south and we turn 45 degrees towards the west. That's what the bearing is describing for us. In quadrant one, the northeast quadrant, the bearing is equal to the azimuth. In bearing two, which is the southeast quadrant, the bearing is equal to 180 minus the azimuth. In quadrant three, which is the southwest quadrant, the bearing equals the azimuth minus 180 degrees. And we can see in our example here for the southwest line, our azimuth was 225 degrees. So 225 minus 180 gives us a bearing angle of 45 degrees. And again, to complete that, it's south 45 degrees west. And quadrant four, which is the northwest quadrant, the bearing is equal to 360 degrees minus the azimuth. So we'll look at a few more components of angles and also work through some examples. So looking at line AB, which has an angle of alpha, we can see that the X component, or the change in X, the delta X, is known as the departure. And for the vertical component, the delta Y is known as the latitude. So anytime we're working with lines in space, X component is departure, the Y component is the latitude, and it's defined by the, an angle alpha. We can also have this line AB, and we can also look at it from multiple directions. So going from B to A, or from going from, line, from point A to B. So either B to A or A to B are our two options for this line. And as you may expect, there are very consistent differences between the azimuth and the bearing. So for line AB, it has an azimuth of 24 degrees, 7 minutes, 53 seconds. That's equal to the alpha that we were given. That alpha is by definition the azimuth because it's from that north point and the bearing is north so we have north as our reference angle or our reference line north 24 degrees 7 minutes 53 seconds towards the east so northeast and the angle is 24 degrees 7 minutes 53 seconds similarly we can look at line ba so going from b to a the azimuth is 204 degrees, 7 minutes, 53 seconds. Now, you should notice that this differs from the azimuth of line AB by exactly 180 degrees. And that's true in all cases. Any straight line going from one direction to the other are going to differ by 180 degrees. And that's just um, the definition of a straight line. Depending on your angle, it's going to differ by 180 degrees. The bearing is going to be south, 24 degrees, 7 minutes, 53 seconds west. And so what we should notice for the bearing is the bearing angle is exactly the same, but our reference points change. So it goes from being a line in the northeast to a line being in the southwest. And those similarly differ by 180 degrees. And so that's, it's really important to know which direction we're looking at in a given line so that we can give the correct azimuth and bearing for that line. So this is the one we've been using, line AB, uh, at the center point at A. So again, for that one, azimuth 24 degrees, 7 minutes, 53 seconds. 
the bearing of north 24 degrees 7 minutes 53 seconds east and then, again this is line AB so from A to B next we have this line AC so line AC has an azimuth of 121 degrees 41 minutes 11 seconds and we get that by taking 180 minus the given angle because we want to go from north measuring clockwise and so we need to make up that that difference we're given from south back to our line so that's why we need to take 180 minus that angle that was given but that angle actually works for us from the bearing because our reference meridian or reference line reference point is south so it's gonna be south 58 degrees 18 minutes 49 seconds east so starts starting at south it's the angle moving us towards the east now line AD, we have an azimuth of 222 degrees, 20 minutes, 46 seconds. And similar to the previous one, we aren't given the angle that we need to add to something, we're gonna need to subtract. It's 270 degrees to go from north clockwise to west. So we need to subtract the angle we were given from 270 degrees, so 270, minus 47 degrees, 39 minutes, 14 seconds, gives us an azimuth of 222 degrees, 20 minutes, 46 seconds. The angle also doesn't really help us for the bearing, it doesn't give us the bearing directly, we, it helps us in order to uh, subtract uh, that angle from 90 degrees. So we, we have going from south, south is gonna be our reference angle, it's closest to south, our line AD, so we need to take 90 and subtract the given angle. So 90 minus 47 degrees, 39 minutes, 14 seconds is 42 degrees, 20 minutes, 46 seconds. So our bearing is gonna be south, 42 degrees, 20 minutes, 46 seconds west.